Welcome back to Hardcode. In this video, we're going to tackle the essential problem for coding interviews, container with most water. This problem is great for learning two-pointer techniques and brute force method. We'll explore two approaches, brute force approach and two-pointer technique. Let's break down the problem step by step and understand how the solutions work. So sit back, relax and let's dive in. So what is problem statement here? You are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that two endpoints of the ith line or i comma zero and i comma height comma i. Find two lines that together with the x-axis form a container such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water a container can store. Notice that you may not slant a container. So basically uh, what they are saying is we are given an array which contains the vertical lines. So basically here the coordinates are i comma 0 and i comma height of i. So, so here the x-axis is i and the y-axis is height comma i. Basically we have to find the container with the most water and return that what is the maximum water it can store. Okay. So how can we get the maximum water? So it's basically here the area, right? So area of the container can give us the water it can store. So we have to find that container of the maximum area. So we know right area formula is what length into breadth. So it's just a rectangle or it can be square as well. For square, we have length is equal to breadth. So it's L square. So basically uh, we have to get that area. So if you see this in example one, we are given the heights of 1862548 so here uh, this wall is of height 1 and this wall is of height 8. So similarly we have this wall is of height 7. We can call it walls or lines or whatever but we have to make the container that's the goal. So here if we observe this uh, we can see that the container chosen is this point to this point. So how did we choose this container because we can see that it has a maximum length and a maximum breadth. So uh, when you observe carefully the breadth is always re uh, decided by the smaller one not the larger one so even though we have one of the lines uh, hanging over this point but the water can be stored up to the minimum line only okay so that's why we have to consider the minimum of these two heights and then uh, consider the length whatever it has so this gives us the breadth and this is the length we have okay so l into b is the formula so what is the length here we can get that using the subtraction of indices so here we have written the indices 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 minus 1 is the length here so that is 7 so what is breadth is just a height right so minimum of these two which is 7 so length into breadth is what 7 to 7 we get 49 so that's the output given here this is the same explanation we just discussed in an example 2 we have the content given as height 1 comma 1 so obviously here length is 1 and the breadth is 1 so the maximum area is 1 only so what are constraints here n is equals to height length so they're representing the height length to be n so basically we got the height array right so that array contains of length n and then uh, the n is in the integer range of 2 to 10 power 5. So basically they're saying that uh, the minimum number of uh, elements possible in the array is 2 and the maximum number of elements possible is 10 power 5. So if it is a 10 power 5, what we would be checking? So we know that we can perform 10 power 8 operations per second. So if we consider more than that operation, it would be time indexed. So for that, uh, our solution to be fit within the n range because n square would give us what 10 to the power of 10, which is not possible. So if you do it n square, it would be time indexed. If you can do it in O of n only. Don't worry about that. We'll explore other possible solutions we have. So this is the boilerplate code given, wherein the max area is the method which takes the height list and then it returns the integer. Here the integer is what? The maximum area of the maximum container. Before we get started, I want to remind you about our exclusive blind and for post. This carefully curated collection covers essential coding interview problems to help you master the most common patterns and excel in your interviews. Whether you are prepping for FANG level interviews or just sharpening your problem solving skills, these problems will ensure you are ready for anything. Even if the exact questions aren't asked, they cover all the important patterns. So be sure to check out our playlist and stay ahead of the competition. Approach 1. Brute Force. The Brute Force approach involves in checking every possible pair of lines to calculate the area. By iterating to the each combination of lines, we can find the maximum area found between them. This is just what we discussed as a part of example 1. We are just uh, checking every possible pair of lines to calculate the area between them and then uh, we get the maximum area by comparing the area among all such combinations. Okay. So at the end, we have written the maximum area. So what is algorithm? So firstly, we initialize the max area to store the maximum area found. This is obvious step because this is what we had written. Second step loop through each line with index i so here we consider the each line with index i so i can be ranging from 0 to 8 and then for each i loop to the remaining lines with index j so here j greater than i so that means that for the given i we have to export the all combinations of containers possible so here j should be greater than i 
since container can't be length zero right so we should consider always j is greater than i so we can consider the containers like 0 to 1 0 to 2 0 to 3 so on so that's why here we need two for loops okay and step four calculate the area found by lines i and j updating the max area if the current area is greater obvious step right basically we require the maximum area that's why we do this let's look into code it's just a translation of algorithm we have very simple steps so here uh, firstly what we are doing installing the max area to zero that's what this step is so step two loop three each range so basically here uh, we're doing a for loop with the range of zero to n minus one where n is the length of the height okay so here in the step three we loop the remaining lines we know why this is required basically here we have to consider all possible containers right that's why we're doing it i plus one till length of n minus one even if you specify the length of height here, the index would be formed till length of height minus one. We know that this is the exclusive range in for loop, right? That's why. In step four, we calculate the area and update the maximum area. So how can we calculate the area here? We just discussed the area formula is length into breadth. So how can we get the length here? So this length, we can calculate it using the difference between the indices. Okay, that is J minus I. J is greater than I, right? So that's why we do J minus I. So the breadth is the minimum of the heights, right? So basically, uh, even if it is a maximum height, it can contribute to your content area. That's why we had to consider the min of height of i and height of j. Okay. And then uh, we have to get the max area. Max area is equal to max of max area comma area. Okay. At the end, we return the max area. What are complexes here? The time complex O of n square. We check every pair of lines, right? So here, like we are iterating till n times and here we are iterating n times. So that is n square. And the space complex O of 1 because we don't use any variable that goes with the size of the array. So it's always constant and it's O of 1. I got the code ready here. Let me try running this. This accepted since this array length is small. So let me try submitting this. You will find it TLE because the array length would be vast and then it can't scale. We can see that time limit is exceeded. That means that our solution is not scaling to the greater array length. Only 52 out of 63 texts are passed. That's why we require to optimize this. We have to perform this in O of N. Okay. So let's look into optimize solution. Approach to two pointer technique. What is the intuition here? The two pointer technique uses one pointer at the beginning and another at the end of the array. The goal is to maximize the area formed between these two lines by adjusting the pointer space on the height of the lines, moving the pointer corresponding to the shorter line inward. So what does it say is to maintain the two pointers left and right. Okay. So these two pointers, uh, we have to string based on their height of the lines. So why we have to do that way? Because our area is impacted by the length and the breadth. Okay. So if we keep the one with the larger height and then we shrink the one with the lesser height, uh, there is a possibility that we'll get the maximum height, right? So here there's the same case here. So we initialize our left to the leftmost element and right to the lightmost element. And then here uh, we shrink this uh, left element inwards. So basically we got the more height here. So that would help us to get the maximum area. So it is straightforward, right? It's just observation. So I'm just rehashing it. So we had to use two pointers left and right. And then we had to string based on the height so that it would help us to get the maximum area. Because as we see the live example here, so this is of minimum height. So if we string this, there's a possibility that we'll get the maximum height line as well. So that's what we got here. So uh, we kept this right as is and we string this one to the inner. And then we got the maximum height. So that led to the maximum area, which is 49. So you got the idea, right? So let's look into algorithm. So step one, we insert the two pointers left and right at the beginning and the end of the array. So you know why we had to do that. And then step two, why left less than right, calculate the area. So why left less than right? So basically, uh, these are two pointers, right? So when they overlap, it means that we already process all possible containers. So there is no container with length zero. That's why we have to perform this operation only till left less than right. Okay. And the third step is to update the maximum area if the current area is greater. This is the obvious step required and the same as a previous approach. In step four, we have to move the pointer that points to the shorter line inwards. So we just discussed right? that would help us to get the maximum area. That's why we had to do this. So let's look into code. This is just a translation of algorithm we have. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy. So here, firstly, we are the pointers left and right. This is a double unpacking approach. Left is installed to zero and right is installed to length of height minus one. Okay. And the max area is installed to zero. This is to keep track of the maximum area. So we are performing this operation till left less than right. That's why we're using the while loop with the condition left less than right. What is the step three? We calculate the area and update the max area. So what is the area formula here? Length into breadth. So here breadth is what? Minimum of both heights. That's why we perform the min of height of left and height of right, which would give us the minimum of these two values. And then we're uh, getting the length of it. This is what here, right minus left. So that's why we're doing this right minus left. And then we're getting the area. So after that, we have to update the max area, right? So max area is what? Maximum of ma current max area and the area formed just right now. So this would give us the maximum of these two values and that would be stored to max area. 
step four this is the crucial step here we are moving the pointer that points to the shorter line inward so if we move that inward there is a possibility to get the longer line that's why we do this so that's why we just check if height of left is less than height of right then we increment the left pointer that means that we are moving it inwards else we decrement the right pointer it means that right pointer also more inwards right that's why we do this right minus one so after performing this all iterations we return the maximum area straightforward what are complexities here the time complex is often we make a single pass to the array it's evident right it's often only we are making a single pass to the array and we're processing each element only once the space complex is O of 1 because we don't use any variable that goes to the size of the input array and it's always constant. So I got the code ready here. Let me try running this. So this accept a solution for these two cases. Let me just summarize this. So here we see that this accept solution for all the test cases. So congrats guys, you just learned it. I personally faced this question in one of the interviews. So I hope it would help for your interviews as well. So all the best guys. And that's your wrap on solving the container with most water using two different approaches. If you found this project useful, drop a comment below and share your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video, spread the word to your fellow coders and hit the subscribe button for more in-depth coding tutorials. Also do follow on Instagram for latest updates. See you in the next one.